Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Jump Station 5, the finale from Capucci. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. Oopsie! After so much time, you thought I was done. But boom! A fifth one. Have fun. Side note, this one is probably the hardest one I've made yet. And you'll have to go forwards and backwards many times. Okay. So in previous maps, I've commented about the amount of repetition that there was and repeating steps. Seems like we're going to have to do that in this one a bit. Um, um, but repetition isn't a bad thing as long as you... But once the player has done something once, it's normally good practice to kind of give them an easier way to to do to do that again so there is still a turret up there let's go down here uh i know turret is dead now it seems all right so this kind of looks like it might be based on first one perhaps so we could go either way here i think we're probably going to want to go with the cube down to here or up to here haven and that's going to give us a light bridge which blocks our exit okay so In the name of Guns N' Roses, where do we go now? Where do we go now? Over here, perhaps. There we go. Right, now, this should give us, I think, a second cube. Right, George, it does. Fantastic. Right, then we're going to do something along the lines of this. again. I think I have an inkling here of what the exit manoeuvre is going to require. It's going to be basically going to be a portal shot. I do believe I'm going to want to do that and that. And it seems we don't need this cube for anything anymore. Maybe I, I think I done did a boo boo. All right, so was there a button? Was there a button to recall the cube? If there is no button. This could be a trapping situation. Can't jump across there. There's not enough room for me to get across to the fence there. I do you believe, good sir, this is a trapping situation? Just a shame.
but there's no way for me to do anything. So, yeah. May want to think about putting a button in to respawn this cube. Because if I, like, like I've just done it, if I leave it behind, then I'm screwed. I am screwed. Okay, so what I actually need to do is take this one down here. Carefully, not take it on the faith plate. Then go back over here. And then I need to over here like this. Pop this back on here like that. Yada yada yada. Now I would assume I do this. And that. Alright, so Puzzle-wise, I think that's the, the best one, actually. Um, still feels very linear, but I think it probably is the best one. Especially the ending maneuver. The repetition... I mean, you've cut out the repetition there. It wasn't too bad. There wasn't overly a lot of repetition to go along. Um, you just want to sort out that trapping system. Like I say, um, if you don't want to leave it on the floor level, just put it... Either in that area or that area there at the bottom, just to respawn that cube, and um, you know, it'll prevent that the player from getting trapped there. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope I haven't been too critical in this series as well. I'm trying to be, um, I'm trying to go for a phase of giving constructive feedback to map makers at the moment. So um, hopefully I wasn't too harsh, and hopefully you can take it on board and and adapt and improve your mapping style but thank you very much for watching guys as always like comment subscribe down below if you've got any match like to play please leave them in the comments or head over to my google form i'll link that's in the description but until next time i've been knock you've been awesome see ya